right, episode two, let's do this. In the previous episode of Life is Strange. Get that gun away from me, thank you. No! Whoa. What the fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No. <laughs> For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. Yay! Choose wisely. Will do. Oh. Hello? Huh. Excuse me, where's my mouse? Aha! <laughs> okay. It's there. I got it. Turn the music off so there was no copyright. <sighs> I wonder what's gonna happen. Life is strange. Up you go. She has chickens on her shirt. Up. Morning, honey. Go, where are we going? No amount of oh. rewind will keep me clean. I still need a shower. Keep calm and really? Okay. Shower supply. Let's get them. Whoa. Oh. In 40, okay. Okay, go. Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool. Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. I gotta be somewhere. Gordon, seriously? Do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like, now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. Showers. I'm so on it, consider it done. Um, I've forgotten everything about this game. Ow! Ow. Okay, that wasn't me. Up there, there. Hi. Oh, She's got two uh, pairs in her mouth, you can't hey talk Kate. to her. Sorry about yesterday. Yeah, I'm sorry you didn't do anything to help. But you're just like everybody else here. Okay, anyway. It's not true. I wanted to help, but... but Downer told whatever. me not to. It's done. By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. 
I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my I room this morning? Him. I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. What's up, Kate? School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up, and you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yuck! I still have goddamn paint on my face. I was just thinking face. you got paint on your Max face. Max Selfie thought she was a badass taking that picture. I should have beat her down. Oh, whatever. That was so uncool. She's jealous because Mark, Mr. Jefferson, knows I'm going to win the Everyday Heroes contest. He thinks Max is a joke. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. <laughs> okay. You wrote with your lipstick on a public mirror. Have fun with those herpes. You got a shower and got changed back into what you're wearing. I better get dressed than go give back Kate's book. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Yep. It's so high school. Let's go this way. This, this way? This way. I speak English. Wait, did, is this where I came? Yep. <laughs> okay, someone's been in my room. Ugh, no fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. Yep. My desk is a pigsty, but I know it ain't there. So is it on your bookshelf then? Nope, apparently not. Not on the floor? And nothing here. Okay. okay. You know that quickly. Then it's an organized mess. Of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Okay, so... Okay, let's get dressed. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even go on time. Shift again. So it's there. Yeah, move the glass. Be gone, foul soft drink. Okay, well, she didn't move it very far. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Okay. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. 
I do have a ta-da. I do love a clean room. Very zen. Except for that bullshit graffiti. Victoria, of course. That's what I get for making fun of her. Ugh. Bitch. Sticks and stones. Where is Kate going to be? Private number. That's from that. What's his name? Oh shit. Nathan. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. But it could be anybody. No. I better be doubly careful around here, or I could be in serious danger. If I'm not Stella. already. Where is... That's Victoria's room, is it? Oh, no, it's Kate's room. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, ma'am. I got the book. Uh, hey, Kate. I brought your book. Max, why didn't you do anything when David oh my asked me yesterday? I wanted proof. I That's wanted what? proof David was in your face. I thought he was different. I'm happy to see that somebody cares. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Why? Why does he think that? Because so he saw the video. Me. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. It is high school. That's awful. So, how did that happen? It's a long story. I'm still trying to sort it all out. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine. And then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? <laughs> Did somebody drug you? I remember... My thoughts. I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Light bulb. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. Do you have your kidneys? I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... 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 That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? Nope. I know it's already, it's already out there. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Or I could have just given it to you. Bag. Book. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Yes. Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. 
I totally believe every word you say. Oh, but he's rich. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. This is a little work out for you. I will go to the police and also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? The rich kids. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal. After getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. Okay, let's go. I said I'd meet at the cafeteria, yeah? At the diner. Okay. There was a text from my mom. There's a few texts from my mom. Oh, we did read that one. I didn't water the plant. Okay. Let's go find this diner. It is really windy outside. Max, come on over here. Lauren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. That was intense. Everything happened so fast. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl sorry she's pretty punk rock how do you know her just a pirate just a pirate i used to know i bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star which begs the question why is nathan prescott getting psycho on you um don't get involved just he's dangerous i don't want you to get involved you got me there but lay low Nathan Prescott is going to get his karma soon. You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday. Speaking of dystopia, that driving is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Yes. Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. Bye. Gotta go find this diner. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Or both. Maybe it's connected. Bum bum bum.
Where are we going? I'm gonna take it that there's more music put in here. Can we get off the bus now? I'm hungry. You're gonna fall asleep. I'm gonna hope it's a weekend. And that you're allowed off the school grounds. Well, I don't know. Here it's probably different. Okay. Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Bam! Go first. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware ugh, makes me feel 13 again. Goodness me, I hurried here and everything. We're gonna sit here. I don't know why I can't stop yawning. And there she is, a lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. <laughs> You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man. No matter what Chloe says. Well, yeah, I'm sure. You're the one with him, so. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle, and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, She's I cute. hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hid all the faces. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. And hey, that blue hair's cool. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? Yeah, I did. And I am sorry. I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Or me. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. Like Kate? 
He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I'll stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? Yesterday, I took a picture of him fighting with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. Thank you. What do you want to eat? Four. Oh. Oh, no. I'm really hungry right now. Like, for The real. last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. You are not giving me coffee. One Belgian waffle for the hungry girl, pronto. Coffee. One Belgian waffle at 12 o'clock high. Hello? Well, this is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Where's Chloe? I don't need to look at the menu. Nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. This is a diner, not a bar. No beer? <laughs> the White House looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. Well, that's true. No beer. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Mm, no, I can't read it. I'm well, gonna be like starving. What kind of And a normal diner. Drink more coffee. Incoming. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Yes, we know. I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. That's mine. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Classic. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ugh. Mm, speak of the devil. <laughs> Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh god, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl. A woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. Oh. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town? What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way. Can't hear it, sorry. Let's talk about your superpower. I yeah, don't have let's. any explanation. And I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. <laughs> mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Um, probably a bullet. A bullet. Or a skull. Just like your necklace. That was so wrong, Max. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was it's beyond okay. epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. You need to look at the items and rewind so Chloe believes you. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. A warning. Okay. The bear. 
You got this, Max. Now rewind and blow Chloe's mind. Faster. Thank you. This is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Where is my mouse? Oh, there. Cigarettes. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? I didn't count them. Seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. It's a panda. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is oh, the Oh no, I didn't busted? read it. Say for. 10:34 a.m. Booyah, Max can tell. Bam. Time. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. What the hell that means? Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. Amazeballs. I literally just got chills all over my neck. <laughs> you have powers. Take that crap off the table, Chloe. Yeah, Chloe. Sure, Mom. Do you have French toast? No, I think. How's the food, good. Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. From what? Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I am freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler, so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way! Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Oops! Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh! And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my party? You're a dick! Don't slap me, bitch! Take your fight club outside! He started it. I'm finishing it. That's the best song I've this heard This is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So what are you waiting for? Now I should rewind and tell Chloe everything that just happened. Sometimes. What if I don't remember? I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? I don't know. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and he answers it. Well, let's just see no, how this goes down. Doesn't care. Justin and Trevor fight and Joyce doesn't give a shit. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. I wasn't even looking at what landed the on it. The jukebox goes crazy as a butterfly lands on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. I don't think it will because... Oops. Dude, Did you, you right? break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my party? 
You're a I think dick. not, Max. Me, bitch. Take your fight club out. Oh yeah, she <laughs> he started it. I'm finishing it. You are really whiffing this. That's a bug. This is a sad day in Maxville. This is sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> okay, let's do this. I'm going to predict four events that will The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without it.